Recently, I've been seeing a lot of 30-day video challenges with regards to self-improvement. Whether it's about taking cold showers, waking up at 5 in the morning, doing morning exercises, learning self-defense, and many more. Those videos inspired me to challenge myself and since I'm an advocate for personal finance, I would like to challenge myself to record all my expenses for 30 days. Since I hit my 20s, I lost track of how much my day-to-day -day expenses is. I rarely count how much cash is in my wallet. I rarely count how much change I receive, especially when I'm just paying a 100 peso bill. I don't really have a strict budgeting technique for myself. All I just do is don't buy anything really expensive and don't buy unnecessary things. Totoo lang, dito pa lang, I was able to save money during my paid days without the pressure of listing all my expenses. All I just do is keep a record of how much I have under my accounts every end of the month. I won't say na I'm a very thrifty person because I spend a lot with regards to my transportation compared sa iba. I value convenience and comfort a lot. So siguro, yun na yung pinakaluho ko. With the data that I would gather through this experiment, I think I could truthfully reflect on how I do really manage my expenses. Every once in a while, maganda din na audit mo yung sarili mo with how are you really doing. Expectations ko is that half na expenses ko will be compromised by food and transportation. So ayun, this is it for the intro. Let's just see what happens for the rest of the month. Two weeks later. Today is May 12 and it's almost been two weeks since I started recording all my expenses and so far, this is what I've learned. When I started doing this challenge, I don't really have a system in place. So for the first week, whenever I pay for something, I immediately text myself of what I bought and how much does it cost so that I would have a copy of my expense data. During the nights, I encode all the data that I gather in a Google Sheet so that I would have an organized copy. But then, during the second week, I realized how inefficient that system is. So I look up in Google Play for an app that could help me make a more efficient system. There, I found Money Manager app. It's very easy to use. It's an app where you could list both your income and expenses, but I primarily use it for listing my expenses. What's cool about it is that when you encode an expense you made, you could choose a category of what kind of expense you made, whether it's for food, bills, transfer, home, and etc. It also automatically makes a graph of how much of your expenses goes to that category which makes you aware of where your money goes. So far, what the graph tells me is that most of my expenses went to electronics, then food, then health, then transportation. I wasn't really shocked with what category did most of my money goes. But what I'm unaware of is that I already spent 4,877 pesos. This is the first time that I list all my expenses, so I don't know if I'm spending more than the usual or not because I don't have any data to compare that to. To get more idea about my expenses, let me share to you how my day-to-day -day looks like. Going to work, I ride directly with my carpool. But unfortunately, for today, I have to ride a tricycle to meet up with my carpool. My morning usually starts with a learning session. Understand this because that is who we are. That is how we are built. Then by lunchtime, I usually have a client meeting, but by this time, just have a lunch with my friends. Then sa hapon, I just usually wait for a carpool. Then by night, nasa bahay na ako. Every 15th of the month, that's a time where I like to pay my credit card bills. Kasi it makes sense, yun yung mid-month na sweldo. And mostly, yung mga binabayaran ko doon are my recurring subscriptions. Mainly yung Globe ko, Netflix, uh, Epidemic Sound which is yung subscription na sound na ginagamit ko for my YouTube videos. And yung laptop ko which 
um, in 3 months do tapos na. So, it's good for me. Then, during the 30th or yung last na sweldo for the month, I usually pay doon yung insurance ko and the rest I just save it para if I have an idea na gusto ko execute, financial problems would be the least or yun na yung pinaka last problem na paproblemahin ko. Having this payment system in place helps me na hindi ako mag-miss ng payment ko. And kasi pag nag-miss ka ng payment o mag-snowball yun, and it's hard, it gets harder to pay. So be sure na bayaran mo lahat ng dues mo on time. To conclude this experiment, I think it's a good idea na itrack mo yung expenses mo for 30 days at least once every quarter para lang aware ka kung saan napupunta yung pinagagastusan mo. I think one of the major problem in personal finance or dun sa expenses mo is hindi mo alam kung saan napupunta yung pera mo. If hindi mo alam kung saan napupunta yung pera mo, hindi mo alam kung tama ba yung pinagagastusan mo. And the only way na ma-assess mo yung sarili mo is to keep a record kung saan ba napupunta yung pinagagastusan mo. To be honest, the experiment have affected my spending habits. Dapat talaga wala akong babagoyin sa paggastos ko during this uh, recording period. Kaya lang, uh, since nga nag-record ako and I have the chart, the data, naging aware ako sa panagagasos ko. So, for the past, so, for the last two weeks na nung month, uh, nag-decide ako na bawasan na yung paggasos ko. Kasi so, nakita ko na yung mid-month ko for my recurring bills, it's almost 5,000 na. So, parang naisip ko, oh, malaki pala yung nagagasos ko para doon. And yun, so, for the past or for the last two weeks, ang ginawa ko na lang is almost nagstay lang ako sa bahay except for having my haircut, syempre, and going out for a coffee once with my friend. What else do I want to include in this video? Hmm, let me just Google something. I remember a friend saying about uh, a quote regarding measuring things. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I got it. Uh, it's from Peter Drucker. It's about business management and parang sinabi niya doon na if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Totoo lang, hassle siya gawin na every time you pay, i-record mo agad sa phone mo yung gasos mo. Kasi most of the time, if hindi mo gagawin yun, makakalimutan mo eh. So, kailangan mo talagang i-record agad yung ginasos mo once you pay. And as of the moment, yun pa lang yung nakikita kong uh, most efficient way na pag-record na expenses mo. But if you have a better way or you have an idea kung paano ito gagawin ng mas okay, can you leave it in the comment section down below? Okay, I guess that's just it for this video. Bye! I have a friend in States and tinanong ko siya if uh, aware ba siya kung magkano yung laman ng wallet niya. And sinabi niya, oo. Kasi wala, wala pala siyang laman, walang laman yung wallet niya. Kasi uh, lahat ng transaction nila doon is through credit card. And if ganun yung mangyari sa atin here in the Philippines, I think it will be easier for us to track yung expenses natin. Just a talk. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense na, but I'm just going to share to you yung last na chart na umabot sa akin for me. The last day of May, 14,500 yung nag ko for the whole month of May. And yun, uh, hopefully you got something from this and you apply ball for yourself. Good luck!